Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create like a set inventory system. So if you have like an inventory system down the side of your screen here uh, and you have like wood, stone and stuff like that, that you can add uh, amounts to it rather than having a fully fleshed out environmental, uh, environmental inventory system. This is something that you'll have a set inventory and you can just pick up items and then when you're out of items then you can't do anything with them. So um, today I'm only going to be showing you how to pick up the items and add it to your current amount. So what I went ahead and done is I got a plane. I have these cubes here that we're going to be picking up. Um, and then I created a canvas UI. And the canvas UI, I have item one, which is just an image. So this square image, which represents our cubes and then a text which is centered to the middle of it and these aren't anchored or anything properly it's just for showing how to do this um so we have this text here that is displaying our zero and then we're, we're going to be doing every time we add a cube it's going to go one two three four five whatever and so on so so on so forth um so that's what we're going to be doing so first things first we're going to write the raycast so I went ahead and created a script here called uh, the interactor. You don't have to call it this, but you can if you want. And I attached it to the uh, first person character camera. And we're gonna open this up in Visual Studio, like we have here. And what we're going to create is, we're going to um, start with our public, camera camera and then we're going to do our public ray underscore range equals 5f which is a flow so uh, that's all we need up here for now in void up there we're going to write our raycast so raycast uh, or ray sorry underscore um, this is going to be the cast equals the camera the screen point to ray and it's going to be a new vector 2 and then we're going to do screen dot width divided by 2 and then screen dot height divided by 2 and what that is basically going to do is it's going to get the size of the screen and it's going to divide up the width by 2 and the height by 2 and that will get the center point where a ray cast is going to be drawn and if we didn't do this we could offset and divide it by fucking divide it by 3 and then just the ray cast be different and there's a lot of different stuff you can do with uh or you can change these values around and if you had um Okay, you can you can just mess around with these, but that's just the best way to do it. I'm not even going to go into detail because I'm kind of tired, so I'm going off the way that my head is thinking right now. Um, so here we have that's our raycast. Um, that's our raycast that we're drawing, and then the raycast hit is what we need next, and um, we're just going to call this ray underscore hit. I'm just going to put these out like this so I can see them in the line better. You don't have to do it this way. Um, just like that, just so I can uh, distinguish it from everything else. Um, so now we're going to actually draw the ray cast properly so we can get the hit information and everything like that. So, if physics. dot ray cast um, ray underscore cast then out with the ray underscore hit and then multiply that by ray underscore range and we will give it a color color dot red so do that um, da -da -da. Raycast out hit. Oh, sorry. What the hell am I even thinking? 
uh, out the pit and then the ramp. I'm, I'm thinking of fucking the debug. <laughs> um, ray underscore range. My bad. Sorry about that. Um, so that is the. That's how we're going to draw and get our information. And now we're going to have it set that um, what happens when we look at an object with a certain tag. So if ray underscore hit dot collider dot tag equal equals and because the tag is cube, we're going to debug dot log. I am looking at a cube. So that's when we look at a cube. So we go back in here now, and our script should update. So here it's asking for the camera, so we're just going to drag our first person character controller camera on. And with these cubes, you're going to have to create a custom tag, which you just go to add tag and create a new one, and then come back in to set them all to cube. I already have this done, just to make things quicker. So because all these cubes are tagged as cube, when we look at them, you should see over in the console, that stuff pops up when we look at it so I'm looking at it and now I'm not looking now I'm not looking now I'm not looking no looking no looking no so now we have it that we're looking at the cubes so what do we do now so now we have to say well what happens if we're looking at this cube what do we actually do when we press a certain key so I'm going to come up here, I'm going to do a public key code, and we're just going to call it interact. So when we press the interact key, what's going to happen? And the interact key, you can set it whatever you want through this, I'll show you now in a second. So if I do if, oh my god, input dot get key down. And then we just put interact. So what happens when we press this interact key? We're going to do a debug dot log. I just picked up a cube. So when we look at the when we look at the cube and we press the interact key, we should get this message then. Instead of it flooding into our console, it will be controlled. So I come in here. Now you can see that we have this interact, and now we have a list of keys. So we're just going to go down here to the key that we want, which is E. So when we look at a cube, our message just doesn't pop up, but if I press E, you can see that the message comes up when I'm looking at the cube. So looking at a cube, not looking at a cube, looking at a cube, not looking at a cube. Perfect. So now we have it that we can pick up cube, or this is where we're going to put our picking up code, not that we have it picked up. So what we need to do now is we need to get this, we need to store information, and we're just going to store it in an integer. So we're going to do a public int, and this is going to be um, just cube underscore or we'll just do data underscore cube or amount underscore cube like so and by default we're going to equal this to zero and also we're going to need a public text text and we're going to call it um oh data underscore text underscore cube and because that's not reading because we're not using unity engine dot u ui <gasps> excuse me so now that it reads and i'm just going to put this underneath a header of its own so it's a bit, so it's separate in the inspector um data so we're going to So we're going to set this 
amount to this and then we're going to add to that and every time we pick up something so we're going to go over here and it's asking for our data text queue so this is the text here Bloop. put that in so that's going to be zero okay my bad and now if what we're going to do is we're going to do data is in the star data dot, uh, text cube and um, sorry cube dot text equals data amount cube dot to string so that means on the update no matter what we have that uh, uh, text set to this data text set to it's always going to be set to zero by default every time so now because we have that we're going to be just using this value to change things so we're going to add one to the current value so we're going to do just data underscore cube amount plus plus that will add one and then right after that we're going to do data text cube dot text equals and data amount of cube dot to string and that should pretty much do it so we come back in here now and just to test to make sure this start up is working i'm going to set this to 12 by default so now if we come over to this one and we press e you can see that's one two three four five six but we can still look at them because they do it. But if we look over here, it doesn't do anything. But if we look back over here, it does. So that's adding up our amount, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And then we can do destroy. And it should be ray underscore hit dot collider dot game object. So that should destroy the game object when we press E now. So we don't get a duplicate. See, now it destroys it. Now we only have six. And that's the exact amount that we put out. And just to make sure that um, that it doesn't, you get a double click onto it, we'll just put that at the top to make sure that comes first. So now you can, it's very instant. So there'll be no delays or chugging or anything like that, that you can just spam it and get like a load of cubes. Okay, so that is how we add to a set value. So a set in, if you had a set inventory, that's how we will add to it. So we could have multiple different items and different names and stuff. So we could have wood, walls, everything like that. And then it would be just a matter of what you want to do with that data. And when you're placing the data, you'd want to check, well, if it's equal to zero or less than zero, then uh, I'll just show you here really quick. So down the end for stuff like this, I generally have if um, data, so the amount is less than or equal to zero. So no matter what, no matter if it is, um, if it's less than zero or equal to zero, we just want it set to zero. That is it. So that's great. No, sorry, it is less than, my bad. I always get confused. And then we're just going to set this equals zero. So even if it goes to minus 12, minus one, minus two, it's always going to be zero. And then if you have a set amount then, so if data amount dot cube is greater than equal to, let's just go with Minecraft number two, let's say 64, then we're just going to copy the same line, put it here, except this will be 64. And then you will do other if checks to make sure that, well, if you, if this is full, you can't pick up any more and all that stuff. 
but that's how you just do them simple little checks to make sure that you don't go under the amount or over the amount that you want and that's pretty much it guys for how to pick up cubes and put them stash them in like a value and then be able to use that value so you can apply this to many other items the exact same way you would just literally copy this if statement and chuck another one down here but change this tag and then what happens and stuff change the data stuff or what you could do is you could have these if tags and when you press the interact key that it calls a public void where you have everything written into or maybe it's in a different script or something like that and that is everything for this tutorial from what I kind of gathered from a question that was asked under the comments if this wasn't exactly what you were looking or if there's anything I can help you with just let me know down below um, other than that guys, any ideas for videos just uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get around to doing them eventually. So um, other than that, thank you for watching, please rate, comment, subscribe, peace.